Guys, what's going on? J18, J Performance. Here at the repo lot after a full day's work. Uh, hot as hell, tired. You can see they're loading up the airboat, getting ready to go do a little maintenance on it. And they have some welding on some seat brackets and stuff like that. Uh, but they're taking care of that. It's my uh, one of the drivers that works here. He actually has a limited. I, I was surprised when he rolled up in it. He didn't. He didn't think I had one. I told him I had two. So now it's like, you know, like we're the best of friends. You know, we talk about OBS stuff all the time. But anyway, it's pretty nice. I mean, got the Tahoe SS emblems on it. You know, it's done all right. He drives it. He don't drive it that much. Once a week, twice a week, I see he drives it up here. Most of the time, he drives a little Kia. But every now and then, he says he likes to get in the OBS and rip it up. So yeah, pretty nice truck. But anyway, uh, that's not why I wanted to post this video today. Uh, walk down here. Uh, I got a phone call from a really good friend of mine. Uh, maybe about a month ago. Uh, they said they were getting another car. And... Uh, they had a car and they wanted me to have the car that they had uh it was a good friend of mine basically and uh i've known the person uh for 30 plus years the car has been in the garage for 25 of those years not running uh this is the car <laughs> now i was given this car for free all i had to do was pay for the transport to bring it down here it's an 85 Monty SS, all original paint, original interior, just under 73,000 original miles. Does not have the original motor in it. Uh, I'll explain the story in a little bit. So, uh, the friend I got this car from, they had it in their garage for years. Uh, they just never got around to it you know life gets in the way and you know things get on the back burner and unfortunately this car got put on the back burner and uh, you know I know I know this person really loved this car uh, they kept it all this time I mean the person's probably owned it for close to 30 years or if not more the person had an 80 Monte Carlo I just found out this story and when that person went to junk the 80 Monte Carlo because the motor blow, this Monte Carlo was sitting in the junkyard as you see it. Uh, I don't think it had a motor in it, if I remember correctly, but what, what the friend told me. Uh, it didn't have a motor in it. But, uh, so the person got it. Uh, it actually has a motor out of one of my cars from back in the day, out of a 69 Nova I had. Uh, unfortunately, the motor's uh, tired, got a miss, oil in the water. Uh, but I think uh, I'm going to LS swap this car and drive it daily. I don't want to, uh, I mean, it'll never be for sale. You can see it's pretty clean, interior's pretty clean. Uh, needs a headliner and when a dome light works. I mean, the, under the dash lights work. It's pretty clean, I have to say. Seats are pretty clean. A little bit of wear right there. One little burn mark there. But uh, I don't think I'm going to do much to the car except for. Let me open this up while we're here. As you can see, uh, what's the odometer say? Uh, it's hard to see. 72,963 miles. Uh, and from what I understand, it's original on the car. And from what I can see, it looks pretty clean. Uh, I'm going to put a little Cam 6.0 in here. Uh, it's got a built 700R4 trading in it from what I was told. As you can see, just a regular 350. But this motor was in my Nova. I know it's been rebuilt once or twice since then, but uh, she's tired. Like I said, got water in the oil. Needs a master cylinder. It's been sitting. Uh, some Blu-ray wiring there and over there. I'm gonna take care of. But it does start and run and move on its own power. 
so I'm pretty impressed with that uh, for how long it's been sitting but so yeah guys this is gonna be uh, probably the next vehicle on the channel after I get the short bed truck done uh, I'm gonna LS swap this car I'm not gonna do anything to it I'm gonna blend a couple spots and buff the whole car I'm leaving the welds on it I mean because it just screams 90s this car man I love it I love the decals I love that it has all the original paint on it still all the original decals and I love the fact that the friend that gave it to me gave it to me I mean I can't be I can't even put into words how uh, I feel about this right now uh, the friend said they always wanted me to have the car uh, I, I like I said guys I'm just lost for words uh, I'm really, really, really ecstatic about owning this car. Uh, I've had a couple G bodies. I've had some really nice ones. I had a nice gray one that me and Tommy did. Uh, I've had a white one. I had another black one. Uh, but this is the most uh, original rust-free body I've seen on one of these in a long, 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 long time. Like I said, it's been in the garage for... 25 years this is the first time it's been outside uh, for the past couple days uh, since the transporter brought it down so so yeah guys that's it just wanted to bring you a quick video probably bring another video tomorrow when i start working on the obs i got to do some uh wiring and uh install the gas tank and the fuel pump and stuff so probably do a little video on that i just wanted to share this with you guys i mean you know i i, I had to tell somebody Aside from my friends, that uh, this car is—I uh, I can't believe it. I can't believe that it's, it's here and I own it, and it's mine. Uh, I can't wait to get started on it. I can't wait to do driving drag events with it, power tour, LS Fest, Sick Week. Uh, I want to drive this car to all those, and uh, I want to see this great country before it's no more. So, guys, on that note, I'm going to leave you alone. Have a great weekend. And uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow.